Okay, Gunpla Modelers, this is Strider Prime being, bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today is June the 15th. Uh, just giving you guys an update on all things Gundam and what I'm planning to do. As you can see, I have finally finished this Asabi 144 scale high grade. Um, it was a good run. I released the final three videos today. I'm glad that everybody's enjoying the videos. I have gotten a lot of nice compliments and criticisms and, you know, the standard bashing. But I don't mind, you know, it's for me to design how, you know, make the kit how I like it and how the way it is. Um, it's not like I used to before where I had a lot of time. I don't have time. And now it's even worse than ever because I'm planning to go on vacation soon. So. Uh, I was able to get this kit done, and now I'm getting ready for my vacation. So hopefully, you know, I'm going to be have like a little, like a month off. Probably for the entire month of July, I'm not going to build no kits whatsoever because I'm not going to be here. Um, however, I do have these two kits here waiting in the wings. And somebody told me that, you know, why don't I just build these kits because they're, they're quick, they're they're, they're a quick build. I was going to say no. And then somebody told me... Um, damn it, where the hell is my sheet? And I thought I had my sheet here. I had the uh, checkoff sheet of everyone's votes from, the, pre, from the, the last time I asked everyone to tell me what kit I should build. For starters, this came in at first, of course. These two were tied in at second. So, since they came in tied, I said, okay, I'll build this guy first, do this in alphabetical order, and then I'll build him. So, K, V, you know, done. However, I am tempted to do a dual build. Sounds crazy, but I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to build both kits at the same time. <laughs> that sounds crazy what I'm saying but that is what I'm planning to do um, I do have time to do both of them I'm not gonna do I'm going to fight the urge of detailing these kits I'll probably do it on my return from vacation I just want to build them get it done maybe do a little panel lining it, it, obviously virtue needs it Kiros barely um, but yeah that's what I'm gonna play probably gonna do um, in other news, of course, we've all seen the new 1-1 uh, one, one scale, or excuse me, 1-1 one, one real life scale uh, RX-782 Gundam that was uh, shown off in uh, Japan. I bet everybody would die to go down to see it. Eh, of course, I can't do something like that. But um, YouTube is inundated with these, vi with these videos of people taking high def video of, the, uh, of this Gundam looks really realistic. The detail is amazing. As a matter of fact, if anybody has noticed that the, the new high-grade 144 scale Gundam that's coming out in the next month or so, or maybe sooner, I didn't look at the schedule, um, looks exactly like the one uh, at, the, at the park, at the theme area. I may get that. I think I may get it in September when the, the New York Animation Show comes in uh, at the Jacob Javits Center, so I'll hold out for that and some other kits as well. Speaking of high def, as you can see, I'm recording all my videos in high definition. I just got a new digital camera. Um, just so you know, all of my video recordings were done on the Canon SD790 camera. This was this is a 10 megapixel camera. You could pick it up for about 170, maybe 150 bucks. For you guys out there who's new to YouTubing and may want to record and have a cheap camera, get a Canon. They are excellent cameras. This one records a 640 by 480, perfect for YouTube. It has a nice three-inch screen. Uh, don't mind this. This you know. This uh, scratches. This is just a plastic, that I, uh, you know, plastic shield that I put on it. But it records an AVI for, I guess, if you buy like a four gig memory card, it will record a good thirty minutes of video. Excellent 
uh, recording time for you guys to edit and use. I use Microsoft Movie Maker to edit the videos and then encode it and then I could pretty much squeeze in 10 minutes of video on 100 megs. I could have probably increased it to 200 or 300 just to increase the video quality but you, you guys never said anything about how bad my video quality is on my video so I appreciate it. But I've upgraded to a new digital camera which of course I cannot show like this but it's an SD 960IS. It's a 12 megapixel camera. It records widescreen the 1280 by 740 resolution. Uh, I'm still trying to feel it out because I'm not too comfortable with the MOV file. Um, so if you see that it's a little off in texture and color saturation, I'm still trying to, you know, get it nice and done. But the quality looks pretty cool. So I obviously needed an HD camera. On a final note, <clears throat> My shipment of Hobby Link Japan kits has come in today. Oh, what did I get? Well, the beginning of the month of June, Hobby Link Japan has been doing some sort of liquidation to uh, pretty much clear up their inventory. And there were a few things that I saw that I said, hmm, I would definitely like to get that. I missed the previous inventory. I could have gotten myself the, uh, uh, what the hell was that? I, th I forgot it was a master grade. It was very cheap. Now I just can't think of it at this moment. But I think I could have, I could have gotten the, uh, the Jaga Doga, or is it the Gira Doga? The blue one. <laughs> I'm pretty bad with names, but it's a good kit. Missed it out, so too late. Instead, I got these. So, what did I get? We'll begin with this guy. I got... <clears throat> Denki Hobbies book. Uh, I think this is uh, July's edition. I always did like these books. Hobby Japan, I could have picked it, I could could have ordered it, but I can never seem to get these, and I always did like these books, so that's cool to good reading material, especially if I'm gonna take it with me on vacation. The next items are these. What did we get here? By the way, Hobby Link Japan. Pretty much keep all their packages in nice seal tight boxes and whatnot. Let's see what I got. Interesting. This was the one that was on sale. I forgot the price range. I'll probably look at the invoice in a minute. These are action model kits from the Double O Gundam series. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the box off the side and then I'll take the contents out and then I'll show it to you. Action model kits from the 00 series. This is a complete box set. I think there's about 10 of these. Another box set is Gundam Collection Number 5 DX. This is another box set of 12, I think. And then finally, just to throw, just to finish it off, Core Booster from the original series. Hey, th this was cheap, five bucks. So I got a nice set of stuff here. You know, I like these collectibles. These are pretty cool. They're pretty nice. I'll do a review, especially this. There's a lot of stuff in here, and uh, can't wait to try these out. So. Thanks again for watching all my vids, and uh, stay tuned for the next video of Kiros vs. Virtue.